Today's day nine of how to get 25 grams of protein or more in your breakfast. And today we're going to do some stovetop peanut butter protein oats. Hey, I'm Christine, macronutrition coach, helping you kickstart fat loss and gain more energy without eating less and without skipping meals. And here's how we're going to get 25 grams of protein in your stovetop oats. To start off with, we're going to add a half cup of water to a pan over medium heat. Next, I'm going to add the oats. I've got my food scale over here, and I'm going to measure out, zero it out first when you set the container on it. And then it's going to come out to 46 grams of oats that are going to go into the pan once the water gets warm. All right, are you ready for the secret to get more protein in your stovetop oats? Egg whites. Okay, so once the oats start to soften, they don't need to come to a boil by any means, then you're going to take your egg whites and you're going to set them on your food scale and you're going to zero it out and you are going to add in 92 grams of egg whites. You want to make sure that you continue to stir as you're pouring the whites in because that way it just makes it creamy and it doesn't actually cook into an egg. We've got oats, egg whites, and now we're gonna add just a touch, a little dash of vanilla. Once the oats start to thicken, I'm gonna add in a little bit of peanut protein powder. And this is just a half scoop, so it's gonna be about six to seven grams of protein. They're really gonna start to get thick now because of the egg whites, so make sure that you stir that peanut protein powder in good. And then next, we're gonna add a tablespoon of peanut butter. Using my food scale again, we're gonna get out 15 grams of peanut butter and we're gonna add it in here. The reason that we're adding the regular peanut butter is because it has some fats and you want some healthy fats whenever you have the oatmeal doesn't have any fat in it, the peanut protein powder doesn't have any fat in it and neither do the egg whites. So you wanna make sure that you're including a healthy fat along with your oats. This is getting so nice and thick now. So lastly, I'm gonna add in just about a teaspoon of pure maple sugar. Now you can choose whatever type of sweetener you want. You may want some, you may want none, but it's up to you, your choice of sugar sweetener. So thick and creamy, you're gonna be amazed at what adding egg whites to your oatmeal can do. Make sure you follow for day 10 of how to get 25 grams of protein or more in your breakfast. So thick and creamy.